This is how to play the game Zequeo. Zequeo is a game invented by Alex Randolph. I believe the game's like Twix and other things. He's a noted designer in Europe. I'm going to show what we have here and explain how to play. What you have here is you have the board, and my classic game is redefined board underneath, just kind of like branding purposes. Don't worry about it. I have the board. You have the board, 10, 8, 5, 3, interconnectivity. You get seven rings. As you see here, the object is to get these rings by moving the pieces. You have two sets of these cards. There are seven apiece. And on one side, as you can see here, they do this. And then this one here is like that. And the colors match, as you can see here. There's also a very small box that comes in. I believe this has been out of print for a while. But so nobody did a video on it. I happen to like the game, so I figured it'd be good to do. I'll explain how to play this. What you're going to do here is everybody gets their own set of these cards. Let's pick them up. What I'm going to do here is you randomly put the pieces on the board. You randomly, after we've done this, let's select them up. Because as you see, they're different colors. Let's just put the pieces here. You can alternate in turns. However method you want to do it, players might want to alternate ones on the board. You might want to do it strategically or, or something else like this here. The object of the game is, the core idea is to get a piece on the ring, but that's not just part of it. Now we did this, one person can enter a ring on the board. Here. I know it's a little bit dark, hopefully you can see it, it seemed to be okay on the camera, but anyhow. Again, people get these cards, give each player one, and we have a ring. One person entered the ring here to be the first person to get four of these rings wins the game. So what we do here is both players walk. And they're going to walk and pick out whichever one they want. Let's say he does this. My set's a little bit worn, so anyhow. Let's say he picks blue. And the other player, hang on, happens to work out yellow. So then, after doing that, they both select it. And after this, starting with the first round, we're going to end up, players are going to be moving pieces one of two ways. They can move like a chess king, which is one space in any direction, or they can do a Chinese checker jump. For example, let's, let's have this here, and let's say this was here, he goes like that there. The thing about doing that move, whether it's sliding, is imagine this piece is like a center of gravity, the pieces have to end up near it. They can jump backwards, and you could, you could end up, uh, let's say for example, do this. You go back in there, but note that it got closer. So they have to move closer. They can also do, again, the Chinese checker jump. Pieces will be moving forward, and make sure I pick the red one like blue. So you can go forward. He could go forward, he could go forward, he could leap here, and then blue could win this way, like that, or the blue player, for example, why don't pick the blue, remember this one here, they're alternating turns, but the person who didn't put the ring down first, after doing that, after doing that, then what it was is that he could win by moving the blue piece over. This person shows this. So here's another thing that happens. Let's say he moves his blue piece in also. And this other player picked blue. This is another thing. There will be a third option to deal with this. But anyhow, he picks blue. And what you have here is this player moves in. So this player moves in and shows, hey, I got blue. person goes, I have blue also. So that person won because you did the work for them. They would, whoever won gets the ring. Let's go back. He picked yellow. Back to yellow. He picked yellow. Okay. He picked yellow. And or the other way to do it. Remember the situation here is he goes like that. Or he could have, instead of that. Let's say blue's back. You see yellow comes across. This player thinks. He's moving that piece too much. So off he goes, I believe you're yellow, he reveals. And he's right, so he would get through. Then this player would put another ring on the board, see where the pieces are. You're not allowed to put a piece adjacent, it has to not be adjacent because you have to some time to put it there. And the game continues until one player gets 
four rings. It's four rings. At that point, the player wins. Remember the three ways. Remember the basic rules. Rings of, of pieces always move towards this. Pieces can do Chinese checker jumps as long as they aim closer. Like that would be too. Uh, okay, let's do this. Yeah. That actually moves closer, but let's say, for example, you did this. Person goes here, here. That wouldn't work because you're moving further away from the ring. Count up the number of spaces it takes to go there. It's not close. And so you do that. The Chinese checker jumper moving on chest king one space, and the three ways you win, which is by moving onto the space and your opponent not having the color, getting your opponent to move on the space and sharing the same color, sharing the same color, or guessing what your opponent has. You do that, and also if you do guess wrong, your opponent gets a ring, and then they would be putting a ring down at this point here. Anyhow, it's called Zequeo. It's an Alex Randolph design. It's a fairly obscure design. As I said, I would be doing that. And I do want to thank you for watching. And may your die. Well, before the this is bitten. You see the rules right here. Very simple rules. As I said, that's it. And again, thank you for watching. And may your die. Always roll five.